it's different for everybody. Yeah. And the thing is to first, please not attach to the idea of having an upgrade. Because mm -hmm. if you attach to it, it will shoot you in the foot. Because the more you attach to that idea, the less that it will happen. Because, because it happens naturally, right? Yeah, yeah, as your frequency resonance rises. Okay. But what will hold your frequency resonance down is the attachment. <laughs> and I, the I know it's horrible, yeah. yeah, but it's true, right? So the more attached you are, the less your frequency resonance will come up. And um, So the thing is to move into the state of surrender from strength and neutrality. That mm. is, um, where you can find these spaces where the attachment isn't there and you can move up in your frequency resonance mm. more quickly. You can't ask for an upgrade. You receive it whenever it's time for you. Uh, no one can force it to happen. What can happen is that you can be exposed to a frequency resonance that's very high through something like a GFC or a deep dive or whatever it is or an event. And then what can happen is a massive upgrade can happen as a result of it. Mm -hmm. Right. So we did a whole um, episode uh, with Susie about embodied brilliance, mm -hmm. and she had a massive upgrade after the um, sexuality, sensuality, and power in the transcendent feminine retreat. So she had that whole experience, mm -hmm. and she had COVID, which amplified it. Mm -hmm. So actually, um, that was a massive upgrade for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So was her experience necessarily when she was having COVID like delightful? No, but her experience then of being able to live in her brilliance for like two weeks straight was an upgrade. You know? So all right. so I'm just saying, if we attach, however, to the idea of what an upgrade looks like, to having one in the first place, to being aware of it, or that it will always look the same the less likely you are of having one. Mm -hmm. I know it's terrible, but it's mm -hmm. true. Just okay. know this to understand if it is happening, that's what's happening. Yes, exactly. Just, just not be afraid of it. Just get out of the way. Just no, get out of the way, yeah. yeah. And to know, so for example, if you're woken up in the middle of the night to meditate, right? You can't sleep and you're, okay, I'm going to get up and I meditate. And you start to feel, you know, if you start feeling these tinglies, you might wonder like, well, geez, well, is that okay? Is that, and you try to stop it. Don't, don't stop it. All you need to do is become aware of your connection to pure source. Become aware of your body and allow for that to happen. Mm -hmm. And just breathe through it, and at some point, you'll get sleepy and you'll fall asleep, okay? So um, that's the reason we're talking about this, so mm -hmm. that if it does happen, it's you're not thinking, geez, well, am I doing something wrong? Is this something bad coming into me? Right. No, it's yeah. just, this is part of the process.